Hello everyone, and I just wanted to take a quick minute and make a short video on how to use the references in 3M. Remember, as a coder, we always utilize references. There are so many valuable references in 3M that it's a must that you use these as a professional coder. So once you log into 3M on this patient information screen, there's two different ways to get to the references. We can come up here to the reference and click on it, or you can come over to the books on the upper right and click on it there. It also gives you the old school like DOS command if you hit the control plus the R. So we come up to references. Here is all the suite of references that is utilized in 3M. So the most common ones that we use as professional coders, of course, will be the HA Coding Clinic. Remember the HA Coding Clinic gives us the expert advice on how to assign what used to be ICD-9 codes, but now ICD-10 codes, both ICD-10-CM and PCS. The AMA CBT assistant is expert advice on utilizing CBT codes. There's also the HA Coding Clinic, which is expert advice for HCPCS codes. One of my favorites is the Merck Manual. So the Merck Manual has all the information you can think of about the diagnosis treatment of certain diseases. What's great about the Merck Manual is as a coder, remember one of our, our golden coding guidelines that we follow is we don't code signs and symptoms if we code the associated disease. Well, if you're not sure if something is a sign or symptom, we can come right here to the Merck Manual and look at a specific disease and it'll give us the signs and symptoms. The other thing that's very, very helpful are clinical pharmacology drug reference. So again, another coding rule that we follow, coding guideline, is if we're currently treating a diagnosis, right, we can code it. So many times in our documentation, the, the physician might say history of hypertension. But then if we look at the medication report, we see our patient is on a beta blocker. So it's currently being treated. We're not going to code it as a history of, we're going to code it current because it's currently being treated. So if you're not sure what medications are used for what diagnoses, you can come to the pharmacology drug reference. So let's just open up one of the coding clinics. So once we get to the coding clinic, you can search by subject or you can search by quarter. So if you know when something was published, you can go right to the quarter. But the other nice thing is once you're credentialed, right, we have so many CEUs that are required every year. So the AHA has this coding clinic quiz that you can take every quarter and submit for CEUs. So that's a nice way to get inexpensive CEUs to help keep your credential. So I'm just going to click on the first quarter. And here's just one example. So a question has come in from a coder somewhere in the United States with this scenario. A 69-year-old female previously undergone the simulation hardware. So the scenario gives all the information and I know you can't see it all because it cuts it off uh, on the left or right side of the screen. But the great thing about the coding clinic is they write back giving you the guideline and the correct code to utilize. So they're saying their answer is that the pericranial flap consisted of the myofascial letter, layers of the scalp and the equivalent body in uh, ICD-10 PCS is skin, subcutaneous tissue, and fascia. And that the following PCS code should be 0JX00VC. So moving around inside the Koenig Clinic, you can hit back to go to the previous, back to the subjects. You can go back to the books and go all to the references. If you want to enter a keyword, you can click right there 
and keyword, let's say sepsis. And then all the coding clinics that relate to sepsis come up. And then you can highlight the one you want and hit go to. Here's the one on viral sepsis. So again, coding clinic is very easy to use. All these tabs at the top help you. If you want to go back to the main list, you can go right there. And all the references are listed there again. There's another quick way you can also get to the references if you want. Once you're done coding your chart, the patient chart that you're coding, and you're on your code summary, if you go down to your code details, you can right click with your mouse on one of the codes and go to view reference. And if there's a coding clinic for that code, it will show up. So for my diabetes code, there is a coding clinic. So I could click on that and go to the code. Or if I want to look at my hypertension code, if I right click, there's not a coding clinic for that particular code. So again, it's a great way just to double check once you're done coding. If you want to double check if any of your codes you assign have a coding clinic, that's a great way to double check. Hey, I hope this video was helpful on how to use the coding references in 3M.